So uh, we're trying to recruit people at the Capitol to move to Iowa to to join, you know, the labor force to, uh, you know, for higher higher paying jobs and you know high tech jobs. I think Iowa is a great place to live, as as you all know. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, sure, no problem. <coughs> Boy, I already have one dissatisfied customer. I'll work on them. <laughs> so, anyway, um, some of the uh, the uh, laws that we passed um, that are that were very important, I think, was House File 690, which is the Children's Mental Health and System. We established that. That's the first time ever. It establishes uh, required core services for children. It, it has a regional crisis st uh, stabilization, uh, mobile response teams for kids, um, a 24-hour hotline service that for people that would need it, um, it and 1.2 million for home, <coughs> excuse me, and community-based children's mental health services to eliminate a waiting list that currently exists. So I think that's very important, you know. You know, there are a lot of kids out there that I think need help, and uh, they don't have the, the 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 money at home, basically, to uh, to get to seek help. So, and that bill was passed with a strong bipartisan support. Um, it passed 83 to 14 in the House and 46 to 2 in the Senate. So it was a very strong um, bipartisan support. We we. Even though you know we have a Republican House and a Republican Senate and a, and a Republican governor, there were many, many bills that had bipart strong bipartisan support in the legislature. You know, you don't hear that, but but we did have that. So I, you know, so I think we're trying to do common sense things at the at the state house. <clears throat> um, another one was the Future Ready Act for Iowa. Um, where 70% of the workers in Iowa will have uh, post high school education to uh, by the by the year 2025, you know, uh, to promote higher paying jobs in Iowa. So, um, House filed 752 um, allows people with criminal records, you know, to request from a licensing board to see if they can get a. a a professional license or a certification so they can become employed when they are, when they have paid their debt to society after they get out of uh, being incarcerated. I think that's a good thing. You know, and some of them get out with a, with a trade or whatever, you know, Iowa Industries, they build furniture in the, in the prison system. So I think that that's another way to uh, fill jobs, you know, get them productive to keep them, hopefully keep them out of, out of being Reincarcerated. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, the work we have, we have a workforce housing credits, and it ex, uh, establishes uh, tax credits for for developers, housing developers, to uh, revitalize uh, neighborhoods. You know, like abandoned, uh, dilapidated, or abandoned or empty houses. Um, it provides uh, shelters. You know, housing to promote people to live close to their jobs. So, you know, if, if they are short on funds, you know, that's a tremendous help for them. So, um, we, the House File 288 uh, provides injured, injured veterans after 9-11, grants up to $10,000 <coughs> families can be with their veterans during the veterans recovery from an injury released, received in a line of duty. Um, I think that that's a wonderful thing to, to help out the, our veterans. You know, our, our House File 307 with public school transportation uh, was more was made more equitable to like, some schools like, well, Bent Community, for example, is, is has a really large um, square miles, a uh, real large uh, area to cover, and some of that. You know, we're making it more equitable, you know, because the transportation cost is so high for for these large school districts, and especially out in Western Iowa too. You know, so um, we, House File 546, we have the program, the file save, um, 
which is secure an advanced vision for our educational fund. It provides property tax relief and extends the statewide penny uh, <coughs> to say for the next 20 years, which helps with property taxes also uh, to, to lower them. And, and, it, and it helps, that assists the school districts to uh, plan for the future. You know, if they want to uh, pass a bond, they, you know, that way they, they know that they'll have this penny, this pen, extra penny coming in on sales taxes. So 